Hi everyone, my name is Zaya and I am the artist and founder of The Beauty Principle where we provide brows and lash services and trainings. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my health and safety protocols to prevent cross-contamination and to protect yourself and your clients. Now before we start, just make sure that you have your proper PPE such as your gloves and your mask and my cleaning surface that I use is a medical grade solution called Cavicide or sometimes I use Preamped. Now the reason why you would want to wear a personal protective equipment like your gloves and your mask before using a medical grade cleaning solution to clean your surfaces is because this medical grade cleaning solution can actually be harmful for your skin and also if you inhale it and safety always comes first. When you do tattoo someone, you can use a plastic apron if you want to prevent um, the pigments from getting on your clothes. This is really an option, it's up to you if you do want to wear it. And also keep in mind there are other reusable aprons that you can wash available in the market. Let's go! So before I start with a client, I wipe the surfaces such as my massage bed, ring light and the chair that I'm gonna be using and also the procedure tray. So I have my gloves on and a mask. Spray your massage bed and wipe it all over with a paper towel. Spray the chair that you're gonna be sitting on with a medical grade cleaning solution and wipe with a paper towel. And of course, even if you're covering your procedure tray, you're still going to do the same thing. Then we're going to cover it with a disposable massage bed cover and plastic. Since I tattoo face, I'm going to cover this head part of the massage bed with plastic. I only cover this area but you're more than welcome to cover the entire bed if you'd like. Next, I'm gonna cover it with a disposable massage bed cover. Now with PMU tattooing, a lot of artists don't like to use reusable pillows because of cross-contamination. But for me, I do use this memory foam pillow and it's got this like vinyl pillowcase cover that you can sanitize. And then I have another memory foam pillow and this is for the client's legs if they start to feel a little bit uncomfortable. It's a good option to have for your clients. After I do that, I put another layer of the massage bed cover on top to protect the pillows from pigments and from cross-contamination. Though we do sanitize the pillow after and the massage bed, it's always good to double layer with these things. With cross-contamination, you can never be too safe. And this is my setup for the bed. I just want to let you know that you don't need any fancy equipment, decors, or beds to start. Then I put my mapping tray on there. I highly recommend to get a mapping tray for your mapping tools. It's just cleaner and more presentable that way. As we all know, brow mapping can get a little bit messy. And then I put a stress ball just in case the client needs it. And I use this barrier film to cover the handheld mirror. You can find this on Amazon. I will link it down below. Next is the procedure tray. After cleaning it, I am going to cover it with this plastic. You can buy these from Amazon. I'm going to link it below. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the dental bib or you can also use a paper towel. I'm going to show you the things that should only be on your procedure tray. The only reusable thing that should be on your procedure tray is your machine that is properly wrapped, your unopened needle, 
your ink cups, correcting sticks, Q-tips, and micro applicators. This is how your procedure tray setup should look like. No reusable things but your machine and just disposable products. And this is how my setup looks like when I'm doing brow lamination or lash lift. Yes, I do put the reusable things on there because I am not opening the skin or dealing with blood when doing this service. All I have to do is to make sure to sanitize the reusable products that I have on here. And don't forget to cover a few things with a barrier film, like this part of the chair since I'm going to be touching that during procedure to adjust my seat. And then cover the part where you touch your ring light. And voila, this is how my setup looks to prevent cross-contamination. So now that we know how to properly set up, I'm gonna show you guys what I do after the entire procedure and I call this the tear down. Before we do this, just make sure that you have your proper PPE like your mask and your gloves and just keep in mind that you cannot use the same gloves that you've used on your client when you're doing your tear down. Having a separate procedure tray and also covering it before you tattoo your client will actually make it easier for you to dispose everything that you've used for that client. And then I'm just going to take off my massage bed covers and put it on that same bag. Okay, so now that we're done that, I wanted to show you guys my trolley cart so you guys can see how I store things. So I have two right here and we're going to start with this one. I have things on top that I know I'm going to be using right away. And then here I have my disposable ink cups. And all the mapping tools on this side. And here I have the gloves and mask. Then here, I have my sterilizing pouch, cotton pads, wipes. Just remember that you need this to store your reusable tools after cleaning it. And then below, I have my barrier foam, plastic bag, and wipes. Now, this is what I have on the second card. I have my sharps container here, stainless steel mapping tray, eyewash station, very important if you do brow lamination or lash lift, and etc. And then here, I have my sanitation and disinfecting solutions, and sanitizer, some garbage bags here, and that's it. These are the things that's in my trolley cart. And I also have an air purifier to help filter and clean the air. Another thing to have in your studio to help kill the toxins and purify the air is a snake plant. It's very easy to take care of. You only water it once a month and it doesn't need much sunlight. And then I make sure that I have slippers for my clients so they can take their shoes off before coming into my studio. And yeah, that's pretty much it you guys. That's how I do my health and safety. I hope that you guys learned a lot. And if you guys learn a lot from this or something, please subscribe and like and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys around. Bye!